So now what we need to do is that we need to get the response. So this, this get is going to return a response, and that response is going to be stored in the response variable. But this response variable is a text, and we need to convert it into JSON. So to convert this into JSON, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to say response, I'm going to say response.json. This is very, very, very important. If you don't call this JSON, it's not going to work. You need to convert the response into JSON. And then I'm going to store the result in a variable called JSON response. JSON response. So JSON response is going to be equal to response.json. Now this is JSON response. Now we need to use this JSON response in order to pull out data from the response. So let me show you the structure of the data that we are going to get. So the structure is, is, is like the following. As you can see, it's going to be like the following. It's going to contain articles, and each single article is an object. Each single article is an object. This article is an array. So it's an array of objects, where each single uh, object is represents uh, an article. And that article has the author, the title, the description, the URL, the URL to image, the content, so, so many things. So we need to get this articles, and then we need to loop over it to get each single content, each single uh, news headline or news story, and then display it into our website. So the, the, key, the, the keys that we are interested in are the articles and then the objects. The objects such as the description, the title, the URL, the URL to image. So let's start with the articles. So to access the articles, which is an array, we need to say here JSON response, and then we need to say here square brackets and then articles. Articles. This is going to return all of the articles that uh, that will be returned from the servers. And then I'm going to store the result in a variable called articles. I'm going to say here articles. So articles is going to be equal to JSON response articles. Finally, we need to pass this articles to the index.html in order to be used and in order to be displayed to the user, in order to loop over the articles and in order to uh, display the articles to the user.